Now that the part has been ordered and it's just a matter of waiting until it arrives before I can get this machine running, I've decided to go ahead and clean up some of this mess. What I want to do here, let me show you. Welcome to 3D Accuracy, where I'll talk about 3D printing, 3D product design, and 3D injection and die cast mold design. I want to go ahead and get this three-phase panel closed up in this transformer. We're finished with all the changes and everything we need to do at this point, so not necessary to just leave this all sitting open. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up. Everything is fine up to this point, so we don't need to do anything here anymore. This is all done. So what I'm going to do is close the transformer first and then close the three-phase panel. Uh, the only reason I'm doing that is because the cover on the three-phase panel has these itty-bitty little tiny screws that hold it in place. And I don't want to be doing this and drop a screw and have it go down into the transformer. Now there's not a lot in there. It'd be easy to get it, but still just not a good idea. I don't like that kind of thing. So I'll close this guy up first and then I'll close this one. All right, no big deal. And then as soon as the part comes, then we'll get that in the machine and see if we can get it fired up. get that in the machine and see if we can get it fired up. How's that? All closed up. Looks much better. Now, we, all we have to do is wait. And then we see if I can do the same thing. Just snap my fingers and that'll go back together. <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you're ever in need of 3D product design, 3D injection mold design, 3D die cast mold design, or 3D printed prototypes or production parts, please feel free to contact me. You can find contact information in the video description. I look forward to hearing from you and to being of service to you. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate it. See you on 3D Accuracy's next video.